Never will I sacrifice to Jupiter nor to any other demon, answered Victor. At the sign given by the emperor, the officer seized the martyr, forced the incense into his hand, dragged him before the altar. Victor struggles with all his strength against overpowering numbers. The spectators gaze with trembling anxiety. Conquered at last, they seem to say. The arm of Victor is already made to extend over the altar, as if ready to drop the incense, when, with one vigorous thrust of his foot, he sends it rolling through the room. I am a Christian, he exclaims. The gods of the Gentiles are demons. The order is executed. The martyr offers it to God as the first fruits of that body, which is soon to be holy sacrifice, an acceptable offering in his sight. After this, Maximian commands that Victor should be taken to a mill, that there his body may be ground to powder. This horrible sentence is forthwith carried into effect. The martyr is placed beneath the millstone, his body is crushed, but the machinery is put out of order. The state still breathes to complete his victory. After so hard fought a struggle, his head is struck off with a sword. At the same moment, a loud voice is heard from heaven. Thou hast conquered, Victor. Thou hast conquered. Such was the martyrdom of the glorious soldier of Christ. Maximian, who had been unable to subdue the noble spirit of these soldiers of the cross, whilst they were alive, sought to wreak his vengeance on them when dead. By a last act of barbarous cruelty, he forbade the bodies of the four martyrs to be buried, ordering them to be cast into the sea. But God, who is glorified in his saints, commanded the deep to give up these precious remains. The Christians collected them with pious care and reverently placed them in a tomb hewn out in the solid rock, where numerous miracles proclaim the merits and sanctity of the blessed victor and his three companions. This has been a production of Alleluia Audiobooks. For more free Catholic audiobooks, please visit us at alleluiaaudiobooks.com. You are free to make copies of this CD for your friends or family, but we do ask that you do not alter the original audio. Thank you and God bless.